and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create dashed outlines. It's pretty easy in Inkscape, we've got a specific menu for that. Let me just create some basic shapes, a rectangle, a circle and a star. I always hold control when I drag them and go to around 45 degrees with the cursor so that I've got these shapes. You can see they all have a fill. Let me go to object, fill and stroke and in the fill menu I've got rectangle selected. I can play around with this color wheel and if I get to no paint the fill is gone. And to stroke paint in the top menu I'll just add a fill and it's the same function with the color wheel here. So if you want to create this dashed outline we simply need a color, for example black, and then we go to stroke style. On the width we can set the width of the stroke itself, in this case it's millimeters. And under dashes we've got a lot of basic functions to pick from. For example this one. Pay attention to the cap. Let me increase the stroke width. You can see right now we've got these squares with the butt cap. If we change that to the last function and the middle function you can see it changes it to rectangles or to round. Yeah, what is it? A rectangle with a round cap. So you need to keep that function in mind. You can also add these effects while keeping the fill color. Let me show you this on the star. So just use the drop down. And we've got a pattern offset function which just offsets the dashes from the starting position. So normally you want to have that set to zero, but if you don't like the starting position of the first dash, you can just go upwards with this function and just move the dashes to the right and the left in the outline. And you can also add this effect with a gradient. Just use under stroke paint the gradient, linear or radial, whatever you wish. And then it looks like this. There are a couple of basic functions to choose from, just have a look at it, it's an easy effect that can be quickly applied. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.